Hello everyone out there in YouTube land, my name's John. This is a Massey Ferguson 35, it's a three cylinder Perkins diesel and it was made in 1961. Why are we here? Well I want to change the leaking PDO seal and to do that there's a fair bit of work involved. Why am I showing you this on YouTube? Well there's a lot of info out there and I've learnt a lot from looking but it's my turn to do it and to show you guys my slant on it because believe it or not nearly every tractor is different. I can't quite exactly find a duplicate of every part and nut and bolt on this tractor on YouTube. So let's begin our journey. Okay folks, a few housekeeping tips before we start. Firstly, I just want to tell you I'm not a mechanic, not at all. I'm just self-taught and trying to do some repairs and save a bit of money and learn something. I certainly don't have time to do this sort of stuff full time. I'm a busy man in my real life. Okay, a disclaimer if I may. This is not a tutorial. I am not showing anyone how to do anything. I'm sharing with you guys me learning and blundering my way through it uh, so you can have a look for your entertainment. If you get some ideas out of it, well and good. But please don't be copying what I do and then when things stuff up you want to have a go at me because you'll know what the answer will be. Let's take a short break. So, none of this would be possible without some uh, influences that I've seen on the internet, namely on YouTube. Uh, the first person I want to give a plug is Lance, who runs Bundy Bear's Shed. Uh, have a look for that on YouTube. What he doesn't know about tractors doesn't exist. Keep up the good work, Lance. Secondly, what influenced me to have a go myself, I come across this bloke called Mr. Buckarooney. He looks familiar to me, but I can't quite place him. Have a look at his channel. Uh, he's not about tractors. He's all about camping and outdoors and he does an outstanding job. Uh, like I said, he looks familiar but I just can't place him in here. Maybe one day. And lastly, uh, my friend Mick, who I call my friendly online tractor doctor. You know who you are. I can't put your details on here because you haven't got any. Now folks, before you start anything, You've got to get the oil out of the diff and the gearbox. And there's a lot of that. Let me show you quickly what you're going to do. I've got the light on here so you can see. So that's the gearbox bung. And that's the one to the diff. Well, that's what I call it anyway. There's a lot of oil in here, guys. You need big pans like that in the vicinity of 30 plus litres. I won't show you how to do that. I won't insult your intelligence. Okay, here's the problem I have. The bolts, excuse my pointer from hell, the bolts here and here and the nuts off of here and here, they came off very easily but once I scrubbed away, I don't know if you can see here, there's the outline of, for one of a better word, an additional bolt but it's got an Allen key head, see? 
they won't budge. I could be wrong, but 1961 and that type of setup with an Allen key makes no sense to me. However, I could be wrong. If you Fergus and officiandos know any better, please tell me. So, that moves. That was pretty easy to pry, but in, it's stuck here. So, what I'm going to do is apply some heat. Stand by. Smells like something's on fire. This ain't gonna work, but anyway. <laughs> Need a bit more than that. Let's stop the camera while I get some persuader type tools. That's bloody good. That's just moving around in there. Terrible. No, well, let's try again. Well, there you go. We've budged it. Excellent. I'm impressed. Okay, on, what's going on there? So, what I did last night was I put some of this lube in there. Yeah, I hope you can see that. This morning I just got a smaller one of these and a hammer and just banged it a bit. There you go, patience is a virtue. Now I knocked that in there with a hammer a bit, so it'll come out. For the record, that's a quarter inch imperial uh, hex bit socket. Excellent. We'll move on to the other one in a minute. Good stuff. Long road to ruin, damn in your eyes. That only took nearly two weeks to get out. Unbelievable. Alright, next. 
from what I've seen on the YouTube with Bundy Bear's shed, this collar, I'm going to get off with some multi-grips. Be back soon, folks. I'm just going to get in there somehow. Aha! Great. <laughs> Not quite. Something to lever it with, I suspect. Yeah, what we're getting there. What next? I thought that old thing came off. I'll be back guys, this will take a bit of manipulating. Alrighty, okay folks, all I did was give it a few persuasive taps, it's not too hard but just around here, boop, boop. leave it at a bit. I've got the power takeoff engaged in this video so the PDO lever on the side is all the way up I've been told it's a good thing to do for this model of tractor all right let's have a look well it doesn't look too bad for something that old who knows things might have been replaced in the past anyway that's come to an end that took long enough to do let me assure you Let's have a breather now. Alright, here we are. There's a better view of the shaft and the enclosure that the, the seal is in. So I've got to get the seal out of there and it's got to be tapped out. I'll explain that later. And here's the shaft in all its glory. I'm going to replace the bearing too while I'm here but I'm going to do that as a separate video. I like to keep it short and sweet. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Catch you next time. Hello everyone out there in YouTube. My name's John. And I'm gonna... Bleh, fuck that one up. <laughs>